in this video I will explain what is indexing I will use some examples to understand the indexing and clear the concept of indexing in spur gear manufacturing before going to explain the indexing I want you to understand what is index plate in the index plate we have uh, different uh, number of holes in one circle the index plates are furnished with the spiral head and contain circle with the different numbers the following we have these three that's why I here I wrote the following number but we have in the in the in the market uh, different kind of the the plates we have these uh, three plates which we are using in our lab we have plate 1, plate 2, plate 3 and each plate having the different range so if you can see plate number 1 you have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and then uh, plate 2 you have 21, 23, 27, 29, 31, 33 and plate 3 you have 37, 39, 41, 43, 47, 49 so this is the image of uh, one index plate which is plate number one plate number one from 15 to 20 you have from 15 to 20 if you see here this is our uh, uh, plate number one and here you have 15 this what is the meaning of this 15 15 means if you start this is this is zero this is your zero if you count this the holes in this circle the holes in this circle this this circle so this circle is divided into 15 holes this circle is divided into 16 holes this circle is divided into 17 holes so like this so each circle having different numbers similarly if you you have a plate number 3 if you go for 49 means this the circle the bigger circle will have 49 holes okay so what is the benefit to use this index plate the benefit to use this index plate is you you no need to divide one circle into different parts these are the standard available so you can use this plate and it will help you to make your indexing you will see the the details in the indexing when i will explain in the in the examples so I will start uh, the indexing you will see what is the benefit of this index plate during the examples when I explain in the coming slides now I am going to explain about the indexing in detail for indexing you should have the index plate chart about the plates which are available in the lab so we have these three with these numbers here I will use the number of teeth as 10 and we have the formula with 40 over n here 40 is the constant value and n, n will be changed as per the question so let's start here so the basic indexing technique is 40 over 10 is equal to 4 so if you are getting here the value without without any point or any decimal so we will not do the second step so our uh, indexing is uh, finished okay so what we will write here we will write here for complete rotations so this is this is the answer for your uh, number of teeth 10 so if you have uh, number of teeth 10 what you will do is first you will uh, cut on the first uh, tooth of the gear then you will rotate 
four times crank means you will take the four complete rotations of the crank and then you will cut the second tooth then similarly you will repeat this action till you will get the 10 tooth so uh, the second uh, step i will explain in the next slide now i will explain the second way to find the indexing previously i used n as 10 and the answer was for complete rotation of crank here i will use n as 16 and we have the same formula which i used in the previous example 40 over n let's start so you have here 40 over 16 if you divide the answer will be 2.5 if you are getting 2.5 we cannot use like point what we need to do we need to find we need to use the index plate we need to use index plate so how we can find the point 0.5 in the index plate and which index plate we will use so to get that answer we need to go for second step what is the second step you have here 40 over 16 which will be equal to 32 over 16 plus if i write this one so so this this is equal to this see here you have 32 plus 8 which is equal to 40 okay so i need to make lcm method or the to make the pair which will give the, the similar answer the other way sometimes some student are asking how we know this is 32 how we we get the idea i need to write 32 here so there is a very simple trick or simple way see you divide 40 by 16 the answer was 2.5 so if you multiply the first value before the point what is the answer this is the answer okay so here you have for example now see 40 over 16 and your answer was 2.5 ignore 0.5 just here see 2 so if 16 multiplied by 2 the answer will be 32 okay here you have 40 so 40 minus 32 how much 8 so here you can write 32 plus 8 so this will be equal to 40 now what i will do i will simplify this one now see this is 2 this is 2 so 2 plus 8 over 16 now i will write here 2 plus 8 over 16 now i need to check this value or this value you can say this value whether it is available in the index plate chart or no see here you have uh, index plate chart in the plate number one you have 15 16 see 16 is available here so we will not go for the other calculation we will stop our calculation on this stage so means we we have one plate plate number one which having 16 hole in 360 degree so what is the answer the answer is this one so how we can write this answer we will write this answer as 2 2 complete rotation and 8 holes from 16 holes so this is the answer what is uh, what is the, the what is the way to understand this answer the answer to understand this answer is the first value the first value before plus means the complete rotations and this means we will take eight holes from 16 holes if you see the plate if you see the plate here in this plate you have 15 16 this is this is the 16 line okay so what we will do our crank will be here 
this is our uh, crank position this is the crank position so we will what we will do we will make a one round then second round means to complete rotation of the crank then we will take eight holes so this is number one this will be number two this will be number three then the fourth one is below this okay and number five number six number seven and number eight now see here when you put this this crank here this is the half of the circle you know the circle is 360 degree so this crank will move half as we as we can see this answer two and half so we can make by using this technique the answer two point half we cannot take point half point five from this plate we cannot how we know where i can take or see some some holes here you have 16 so half and half but if you have 15 so you cannot take half if you have 17 you cannot take half if you have 18 you can take like nine holes then nine holes similarly you have 20 you can make half and half but if you have 19 you have 15 and the others so you cannot so what is the way you need to do you need to use you need to do this 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 method you need to do this calculation to find the best solution to to complete your indexing so the finally the answer will be you will rotate one two two times the crank then you will put your crank here now this is the new new reference after that when you cut one teeth after that again you will start from here one two and you will go eight holes means you will reach on the previous position so like this you will complete uh, your uh, gear manufacturing until number of teeth 16 now i am going to explain the third way to find the indexing if by first method or second method you are not able to get the indexing so we will use this way here i will use the number of teeth as 13 and we have the same formula which i used in the previous examples 40 over n so let's start here you have 40 over 13 which will be equal to 3.07 see here you have 0 0.07 so how we can divide a circle into 0 0.07 without indexing plate so here we need to find the indexing plate which will give or which will help us to take 0 0.07 of 360 degree so we will go first like the second way we have done in the previous example here you will do 40 over 13 which is going to 39 over 13 plus 1 over 13 so if i simplify this one your answer will be 3 but before going this one see here you have this 13 so first you have to check first you have to check whether this 13 is available in the index plate or not see if this number is available in the plate table then ok otherwise we need to multiply by x as denominator to find the matching value available in the table so what we will do here we will do the third step the third step here is 3 
plus 1 over 13 so I will multiply by x up and here x also why I am multiplying by x because I want this value to be available or I want the x value which will be multiplied by 13 and I will get the answer from the, the available plates so if I multiply 13 multiply by 2 so the answer will be 26 so I don't have here 26 okay so if I so I can use different x for example I will choose for example if you have x2 and I multiply by 13 so it will which will be equal to 26 so this cannot use so if I multiply 13 multiply by 3 so the answer is 39 so we have 39 in plate number 3 so this is the right x so what I will do here so I will do 3 plus 1 over 3 and 13 multiply by 3 so it, the answer will be 3 plus 3 over 39 so this is our answer so how to write this answer as we wrote in the previous uh, slide or previous example we have here now three rotation three complete rotations and three holes from 39 holes what is the meaning the meaning here is we will rotate the crank first three times so three times when you rotate the crank after that we will take one two three holes from the line which is having 39 holes and then you will put your crank in the number 3 after that you will rotate again from this this is the, the reference previous the reference is here ok the reference is here so you will rotate the crank 3 times after that you will take 1 2 3 holes now this is your new reference you will cut one tooth after that again when you finish that uh, teeth after that what you will do you will start from here you will again rotate three times and then you will take again one two three holes and now this is this is your new reference then again one two three then after that one two three the third third uh, hole will be your new reference so always the reference will be changed but keep in mind after one cut you have to do this until you are getting n13 so this is the the, the third way to find the indexing in the first uh, indexing method you are getting the round value like we use the number of teeth 10 we divided 40 over 10 is, was equal to 4 so there was no second second step but in the previous example I shown you have to use uh, you have to use uh, the second st step here you have to use x you have to use x value you need to multiply the value which is uh, which is x okay and you need to find the the lower number here the lower number here which will be give you the answer from the indexing chart so these, these are the three ways to to do the indexing if you have any question or comments you can send me email so i will answer so thank you very much